Hey guys, it's Destiny Lachey. Welcome to another video. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how I do my nails at home. I am like the press-on queen. I've been wearing press-ons for years. Honestly, I don't even like going to the nail salon. I'll go get a pedicure every now and then, but as far as my nails... I like to do them at home. These nails I've had on for a week. I filmed this video a week ago and they are still going strong. Okay guys, so we're gonna jump right in. This is my custom nail kit and I get my nails made by a friend that is a nail tech. She actually makes custom press on nails and you can make your custom order today if you do want some or you can make your own. I will ha have the link for her stuff down below in the description box if you don't know anyone that makes press on nails you can hit her up but what I like to do first is alcohol my real nails um, this just dries out my nail beds and gets off any oils that I do have on my nails like lotion soap anything so I just want my nails to be really dry you can use a nail dehydrator if you have that I don't have that so I'm using what I have and then I'm going in and filing down my nails and I'm just making sure that they're straight across and they're not looking crazy, you know what I mean? Because when I take my nails off, I still don't want to do too much work. And then I actually do file them down um, very lightly on the top so that I do have a rough surface so that my nails don't come off as quickly. So when I do this with a real nail file, like I said, very gently, it makes my press-ons last a lot longer because there's a rough surface for them to attach to. So I just go in and do that to every single nail. And then next I take this cuticle pusher and I push my cuticles back because this just makes the press on nails fit better a little, you know, under the cuticle because I like to press my press ons back into my cuticles a little bit so that it looks more like I got a full set done. So I love to push my cuticles back just because of that and it just makes my nails look better and all of that stuff. So get you a cuticle pusher sis and push those cuticles on back. Then I take my alcohol again on a little silk cotton uh, square and just get rid of any dirt or grime from the nail file. And then I take my nail hardener. This really helps with, I feel like, attaching the nail to um, my nail bed as well. This doesn't really protect my nails as much as I want it to, um, but it does help the nails to adhere to my natural nails for some reason I've tried so many ways of doing this and this is the only way that really keeps my nails on for three weeks and up and then I go in with the best nail glue this is from Sally's beauty supply and I go in and glue my nails on so the best way that I found to glue my nails on is to start with the pinky first I put a good amount of glue on the back of the nail and I put a little bit of glue on my nail like one little drop on my nail and then I go ahead and take the nail push it back into my cuticle a little bit and then I hold it down for about 30 seconds. So I don't let it go for at least 30 seconds. I know it's a long time to be holding your nail down, but trust me, this makes a huge difference with spreading the glue around and making it stick. So hold your nail down <laughs> for at least 30 seconds. So I go in and do the same thing on the next nail. I take the glue apply a good amount on the back of the nail and then I apply a little bit of glue on my finger and then I go in pick up the nail and place it on my finger push it against my cuticle and I hold it there for at least 30 seconds so hold your finger a little bit above where your cuticle is so that the glue doesn't get on your finger and then your finger gets stuck to your nail. It's so annoying. If you wear press-ons, you know how annoying that is and then it messes up the nail. So just make sure you hold it a little bit more towards the end. And like I said, I'm just going in and doing the same thing to all the other nails and just making sure that none of the glue is kind of spreading too much because like I said, that's really aggravating <laughs> and I'm just going to hold this down. Now, I've tried so many different nail glues when it comes down to press-ons, like probably every single one that you see at the drugstore I've tried um, and this is the only one that really holds my nails on for weeks 
So you have to go to Sally's and get you some of this glue sis. And it has a little plug or a stopper so that when you, you do your nails the next time, the glue doesn't get all caked up and you can't open the nail glue. I love that about that too. Because, you know, if you do press-ons, that nail glue is really annoying too sometimes. <laughs> because if you use it once, sometimes it can get clogged and you have to like cut it and all of that. But this one's really good and it gives you a stopper. So um, as you can see, these nails are so cute. It looks like I got a full like coffin set, French manicure, and um, I just love them. So like I said, I'll put my friend's link down below in the description box. If you do want to get you some press on, sis, hit her up and you can get some custom press ons. You know what I mean? And I know a lot of people are making their own press ons. That's good to do, too. I have a kit where I make my own sometimes as well, but sometimes I just want fancier ones, you know what I mean? Like I need ones that are made by professional. <laughs> so now I'm taking my nail file and I'm just filing down the ends of my nails just a little bit, just to make them a little bit more square. I like my nails really sharp, um, especially at first when I get them done. So I'm just going to take that nail file and just file them down just a little bit to make the shape a little bit more sharp <laughs> because that's just how I like them so I'm just gonna do that so this is what the nails look like when they are done when I'm done gluing them on and everything doesn't that look like I just came from the nail salon like you cannot tell me that that doesn't look like I just came from the nail salon oh my god I'm in love with these I love this style they're bomb Ugh, they just look so good Thank you guys so much for watching that video. I hope you enjoyed it. Remember to subscribe, like this video, share it with a friend. And also, I've created over 200 videos on YouTube. Make sure you check out some of them. I'll put a couple of them right here so you can check them out. You feel me? So click one of these. And I'll see you in the next video.